Welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial Episode 56. In this video, I'm going to show you how to load uh, local raster and vector data into GMAP without coding. In episode, I think number 10, I already show you how to load uh, vector data and convert the data into Earth Engine feature collection uh, with a few lines of code. Also in episode 25, we talk about how to load local raster data set uh, with uh, GMAP and so in those two videos uh, you can uh, use your data locally and to display on the map uh, with a few lines of code but uh, in this video we're going to uh, go a step further that uh, you can use the interactive GUI without having to write any live uh, uh, code and so let's get started First, let's go to the website to download the noble example we are going to use uh, in this video. You can go to the gmap.org and then click notebooks. Scroll down to find number 56, local data, and then click the download icon, upper right corner. Download this one to your computer. So I'm going to download to my downloads uh, directory. And then you can open your terminal or Anaconda prompt. So I'm just going to open my terminal here. And then you can conda, um, conda activate G, and then type Jupyter Notebook. Click enter. It's open notebook uh, within your browser. Then we can uh, start uh, doing coding. No, open automatically. So we can uh, click next. You can click notebook. Then we can. Uh, goes through the example so this is a simple example uh, first we're going to create the interactive map then we're going to download some sample data set if you already have uh, data set on your computer then you don't have to download this but um, just in case you don't have we can we're going to download two vector data one uh, swap file one geojson and also two raster data set the first one here is a single band uh, a digital elevation data and the second one is a lens set uh, imagery with multi-spectral uh, bands you can use the gmap the function download from uil and you can also download from google drive so these are two functions that if you need to download data from the internet uh, it might be uh, very handy so that you can directly uh, download data within the notebook so first we're going to uh, set the uh, working directory then we're going to download the notebook here to our uh, directory so because we right now we're using the downloads uh, folder so the data will be downloaded directly to this uh, downloads directory and so these are the URL the first two here came from the uh, my um, um, other uh, repository github repository and the last two here come from google drive uh, share so you can once you have the link, then you can directly use the GMAP to download. So I'm just going to quickly go through. Uh, you can see from here, it's pretty quick. So it's going to download the zip file and then unzip the, uh, the file on your local computer. So after it's uh, finished, you should be able to see the files here within your directory. And so we have the country's uh, swap file. We also have the US state uh, geojson. We also have two DM, uh, two raster data set here within this directory. Then we can go back to the map or you can display the map here directly. Okay, so next, let me go sh uh, show you how to actually to load the data set here onto the map. You can um, either uh, click the toolbar here, upper right corner, and then click this uh, for the open icon, open local vector or raster data. So the first one here, we're going to load the, uh, is a swap file. So you have three tabs in here. A uh, swap by GeoJSON or GeoT. Uh, first, we're going to choose a, a vector of data. So, the first one here that is the data set we downloaded countries doc SSP. Then, just select here. You can enter a, a layer name. I'm just going to use the default one. And if you want to convert this one to uh, uh, Earth Engine Visual Collection, then you can click this one here to check this one. And then, just click apply. It's going to convert the swap file to um, um, to vector data uh, to earth engine vector data and then you can use the toolbar to query the data so you can click the identity icon and then if you click here you should be able to see um the attributes like uh, because this one only have 
two columns the id and also the name so you can click here to uh, check the uh, values also if you want you can uh, load uh, the other one so i can click the folder icon again and click geotason so in this time we're going to click uh, use it the us uh, states uh, geotason save again you can convert the geotason to uh, earth engine preacher collection just check this one and hit apply okay uh, you should be able to see this one here directly um within gmap and Similarly, you can run, you can query the uh, the data layer. If you click, it's going to query both data layers, the US uh, states are uh, polygon and also the countries are uh, certified, right? And if you want, you can uh, customize the symbology. So, for example, you can you can change the layer opacity. Uh, you can also let me check this one first. You can click this one here to change the uh, symbology for the data layer. And this is keep in mind. This is the Earth Engine data layer. So everything you make, the changes you make, it basically is pulling the data uh, from the server. So uh, sometimes you might take. It depends on your internet uh, speed. First, I'm going to change the color. For example, I can change the color to red color. Uh, this is the outline, and the opacity here. The second one here uh, is the uh, the field color. So if you change the opacity to zero, you're going to only see the outline, right? This is why. Uh, you only see the red color outline if you want to change the color for example i can change the um, uh, the field color to blue color then you can change the opacity and you, you should be able to see right now it's kind of a uh, blue you can also style by attribute so if i click this one and then you can select for example based on the name or the id if you have other columns you can do that as well so if i select the name then you should be able to see all the states so here you can change for example i want to maybe customize the symbology with 10 colors uh, so 10 classes and you can choose the color here from the list like right? whatever you want then you just hit apply you should be able to see right now the color is being customized but this is pretty much uh, depends on the alphabetical uh, order of the uh, state names but if you have uh, other category you can do that as well so provide a quick way for you to uh, visualize the, uh, the data set if you hit close uh, the toolbar uh, the color bar here will disappear if you want to keep that you can click this one here and then click apply uh, but i'm just going to close this one so this is how you can add uh, vector data onto the map the next one i'm going to show you how to load some raster data set so you need to click here this uh, tab Beef, uh, I want to let you know that uh, so for the vector data, this one works on uh, uh, cross platform. So you should be able to use uh, to load the vector data if you're using Windows or Mac or Linux. But for the GOT, this one right now only works uh, on, um, I think, uh, Linux. Uh, it doesn't work on Windows because the one of the dependency X array leaflet uh, like package right now does not work uh, properly on Windows. So um, GMAP is using that package as the dependency to load raster dataset. So that package doesn't work on Windows, and GMAP won't be able to load the data. So just want you to be uh, aware. And I'm testing here using my Linux computer, so it should work just fine. We can just select the first one we're going to load here is the uh, the DM. So and you can just click select. Then from here, you can change the name. If you want, I can just change to DM. Since we only have one uh, uh, spectral band, so this is just a DM elevation uh, data layer. So you, you can just leave it as default. And for the color map here, you can change to whatever color map, right? So these color maps all come from um, come from uh, map probably by color map. So if you want, you can change if you, uh, if you like. And we're just going to use the terrain and just hit apply. Uh, low right corner here you should see the spinning uh it's very quick so now you have this dm uh, data layer here loaded onto the map you can hit close right so now you can zoom in you can zoom out bear in mind this is this the data still uh the raster data set uh the got is so locally so this is not an earth engine object uh it cannot be it, it's for display only it cannot be used to do analysis with uh, other raster data layer it might be possible in the future but uh, not right now so just want you to be aware and you can uh, turn the layer on and off this is similar just to the base map layer is 
has been converted to a tile layer so the tile layer can be turned on and off okay so this is just for one single data layer uh, with one single uh, band but you can also load multi spectral bands so i'm going to click here again geotiff so the second one i'm going to use is the lens set data so again i can click select because uh, it's multi-spectral band, so this time we can have a band combination. So this is lane set seven. Uh, you can have four, three, two, or maybe five, four, and three. So this is kind of a, a first color composite. And when we're using uh, RGB combination, you cannot use the color maps. So the color map here is disabled. And after that, you can just easy uh, can change the layer name whatever you want then click apply you should load the data layer right so now this is the one here using band uh, 543 uh, display the imagery and sometimes if the data uh, you might need to change the x or y dimension but usually by default it's x and y so you just keep that as a default it's work uh, is expected okay so this is how you can load the raster data and vector data so if you zoom in and zoom out, uh, you might see the uh, low right corner, see the one that's spinning. It's actually from the X-Array leaflet uh, trying to resample the raster data to serve it as a, a, a kind of a, a web uh, GS format so they can load the data here uh, to uh, IPy leaflet. Okay. And again, um, the raster function does not work on Windows. Um, so uh, you you might want to use a uh, uh, Windows uh, subsystem uh, Linux so that you can test this one if you want. Okay, so that's all for this uh, video. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.